Hey guys, this is Will Yip, producer here at Studio 4 Recording, and today I'm going to show you how I get my snare drum to really cut through a rock mix. Let's take a listen to the drum mix, and then I'll show you how to put it together. And now here's the snare without the plugins. You hear how flat it is, it's super muddy, it's cloudy, um, there's, there's a good amount of ring. Um, it's very pongy. And my goal with my snare drum, especially inside a rock mix, is to get it to cut through an entire wall of sound and without trying to lean in on using samples. The first plugin that I grab every single time is a 1073 on my snare drum. I'm adding top end off, off the bat and I'm adding a good amount of high mids to really get that crack, about 4.8 or even 7.2. Um, to really get it to cut through. And for the weight of the snare, I love adding a good amount of the lower lower mids, even 110 or even a little higher, just to get that weight of the snare to really sit in and kind of have impact on the mix. This is the snare without the plug-in. And here's the snare with the plug-in. You really hear it come to life. After the 1073, I immediately go to compress it with a blue stripe lens 76. My goal here is just to kiss it, you know, not to crush it, um, still keep the dynamics of the performance, but to just get it consistent, get it consistently sitting through a mix. Slow attack, fast release. So again, keep the shape of the dynamics still in play and driving the input to get about two to three decibels of reduction. And lastly, I always reach for an API 560 just to do the molding after compression. And here I'm just taking out a good amount of the low mids and adding even more crack, uh, little, little upper tops at about 8K, and sometimes even 16K, just to get some of the muddiness post compression sucked out and more of the top end to crack through. Here's the snare without any plugins again. Here's the plugs back on. You really hear a snap through. And here they are in the drum mix again. Without the processing. With. You really, you really hear it come to life. And here they sit in the entire mix. the processing in the mix. Very flat, cloudy, and just sitting in a muddy and uncomfy place in the mix, kind of rubbing kind of poorly against the bass, against the vocals, with the processing, and it jumps off the page, like a sample, like a sample would, um, but without having to add in crazy dynamics, you're doing it with a natural snare. Hope that was helpful. Hopefully you can take that and apply it to your own drums and really help your snare cut through any mix. I'll catch you guys on the next one.